What's up YouTube, Honeybee here, and this video is just going to be a little bit of an informational video on how the Injustice 2 Pro series is currently and kind of what to expect from it going forward. Right now it is July, what is it, the 12th, July the 12th, so um, in terms of tournaments, um, Combo Breaker has passed, CEO has passed, Vianality has passed, uh, three of the major, uh, three of the five big offline tournaments are already done with and there's a couple online stuff that are happening as you can see here um, European program hasn't even been announced I don't know what's going on with that but the way it, it works for grand finals is that um, 12 people make it based on points from the pro series from these tournaments that we've been traveling to whereas four other people make it from other means one person from this European program which I don't really understand what's happening with that uh, one person from the Liga Latina program and one person from Northern Arena which um, for those of you that have been watching my channel has already taken place in terms of qualifiers we do know the the way that's going to work is the top eight people from qualifiers um, play it out at Fan Expo, which happens the end of August, and the number one person from that makes it in. Um, as it stands right now, um, there's eight people that are going to be at Northern Arena Finals, which is like myself, Bio, Heyate, Gun Show, uh, Dr. Stabs noodles sounds like pause and lego um so one of us would get a spot from that but it's kind of weird how it works if you already have a spot from the pro series points um from what i've heard if you have a, a spot from the pro series points and you win northern arena then you're the instead of like next in line from northern arena winning they actually seem to it seems like they're going to be giving the spot to next in line in terms of IPS points, um, which I don't really agree with. Um, I think it should go next in line to Northern Arena because it is a Northern Arena spot, but it seems like they might be giving it next in line for um, for IPS points. And right now, we'll go over like where the standings are, but basically the top four players in a Northern Arena, so like half of the people in Northern Arena are actually doing really well in terms of IPS points because... Canada's really strong. So uh, it's very likely at this point that whoever wins Northern Arena is already going to be qualified um, for IPS finals, but we'll get to that. And it seems that there's also a uh, last chance qualifier. I think this is only for USA residents um, to com to qualify for the Pro Series finals, and that's, this happens in October, according to this. So if we're on the uh, Injustice 2 Esports website right now, by the way. You have a little trailer here. So this shows all the events that are taking place for the IPS um, points-wise. Um, Combo Breaker has already passed. CEO passed. Z Vianali has passed. This weekend coming up, um, July 15th, we're going to have the online North America West uh, tournament where people top eight, I believe, for that get points. If we quickly look right here uh, for online tournament rules we can see that um, this is the point distribution where I don't know how well you can actually see this but first place will get 125 points second place 80 65 fourth place 50 the two people that get fifth uh, 35 points two people get seventh is 20 points so the if you win this is actually a pretty big deal i would say you get a lot of points for that um so and well i think right now actually west coast players aren't doing the greatest in terms of points so whoever wins this it's going to be a pretty big deal i would say all right so we're back on we're back on the uh main page here let me just zoom out a little bit so this tournament is taking place this weekend um after that, we're going to have EVO, which is going to happen beginning of August. Um, all these offline tournaments have a $10,000 prize uh, bonus. I think there's actually some money that goes into these as well. The online uh, North America West and whatever tournaments. Um, and it is free to enter, so if you did want to enter that, you can definitely go check that out. Um, it's on smash.gg, and you could look up like just Pro Series. Um, but yeah, they have an online European tournament, which is going to have the same kind of pri um, 
uh, point distribution. SoCal Regionals is happening, and then apparently after that is going to be the online NA East, which um, I'm going to be competing in in the end of September. But as far as the West is concerned, um, the players to look out for for that off the top of my head is going to be players on all on the West Coast. So like Theo, uh, Rewind, Deoxys, Scar, um, Nubcakes is in there. Illusions is in there. Um, off the top of my head, those are like some of the main guys that are going to be in the west side, whereas the east side is going to have players like myself, Bio, Heyate, Sonic Fox, Samij. I'm not sure if Tweety is west coast or east coast. I'm not sure if King is west or east actually either. So I'm not too sure how those guys um, are. But yeah, Gross is going to be on the east coast as well. There's a lot of really good players on the east coast, I feel, that are actually already doing well in points. Um... I had kind of have a feeling that whoever um, does well on the west side, it's it's more important than the east side. So, all right, so this is uh, what the top 32 is looking like. Uh, three major tournaments have gone by, and right now, Bio, my brother, is actually at the top of the leaderboards with 450 points. He got fifth at Combo Breaker, third at CEO, and he won the Unality. So he got a fifth, a third, and then a first, um, putting him way, way, way above the majority of people. Uh, right after him is Tweety, who won Combo Breaker and got second at CEO. Samij, who got ninth at Combo Breaker and one CEO. The thing is, a lot of people did not go to Viennality, and I feel like um, Viennality definitely shook up the standings quite a bit because people that didn't go therefore got no points. Um, and then the people that did go, like myself and Bio and Heyate, you'll see it like we moved up quite a bit in terms of the points. Um, but yeah, Samij got ninth and then a first, so he's here. Gross got a second at Combo Breaker, fourth at CEO. Sonic Fox over here got a what was it? Third at Combo Breaker, fifth at CEO, and I'm actually right here tied with uh, Sonic Fox, where I got ninth at Combo Breaker, seventh at CEO, and I got third at Vianality. So I was I had 70 points going into Vianality, and since I got third at Vianality, I got an extra 130. So 130 plus 70 is 200. So I would say um, Heyate also uh, Vianality. I would say it was really really big for Heyate because uh, before Vianality he actually got 13th at Combo Breaker and CEO and 13th only gets 10 points um, so he, had, well, he only had 20 points and then he got second at Vianality which was huge uh, which gave him an additional 160 so he has 180 points um, Heyate before Vianality was looking pretty shaky in terms of points but now he's definitely up there and I would say right now the top 7 which is these guys here are all in a really great spot um, because the people that are under them for so if we look at the next set of people like Gunsho, Mantis, and Tekken Master who all have 100 points um, if they get anything less than fourth at let's say Evo right we're and we get let's say zero points we'd still be above them if they get fifth like if Gunsho goes to evo and get fifth and gets fifth which is really good like that's a great placement to get fifth at evo if he does that in points he'll still be under heyate because fifth gets 70 points and realistically speaking like i know heyate myself and bio whatever we're all and like sonic fox like we're all gonna be at evo and it, I'm pretty sure we're all gonna get at least some points. Maybe it's not gonna be uh, a top eight, but it, it could be a, a ninth, could be a thirteenth, and you're still gonna get more points. You're still gonna move up further in the standings. So I feel like p anyone that's Hayates uh, or above, I would say, is most likely gonna guarantee, most likely gonna get a spot in the finals. Especially since, let's say at Evo, if anyone that's already in the top seven is getting. A top four it means they're taking away points that from people below us so like if if top four let's say for example at evo was like uh sonic fox bio tweety and samij that means the four of them are soaking up a crap ton of points and whoever is below them will just kind of get what's left over and what's left over isn't enough to get past uh like heyate and like myself and whatever so for example if that were to happen um 
we're looking pretty pretty good in points like a lot of people would have to get those top four spots and we'd have to do really bad in order to not make it but um definitely not guaranteed i definitely still want to go to these tournaments and perform and do well and because you know you always want to do well but at least i feel like some of the stress that comes with qualifying for the pro like for qualifying for the finals um some of the stress just isn't there anymore which is great because like we can just you know focus on just doing our best and not have to really worry about the other stuff associated with it um but yeah so like here we have like gun show mantis tekken master uh gun show actually got fourth at combo breaker which was a really good placement he got 100 points for that but he missed uh ceo and he missed vianality so even though he had a great first tournament right now he's actually tied for eighth with uh two other guys here um in terms of points and then we have happy pal here who just got what was it i think he got ninth at CE at a uh, combo breaker so he got 25 points he went to ceo but didn't get any points from there and then he went to vianality and got a top five so um he's doing pretty well in points if, if he were to continue going to more events it's very possible that he would qualify but um him and, and mantis are in this position where it is very expensive for europeans um to travel so for them to actually go to like Evo and SCR, I don't know if they could because, um, yeah, travel is really expensive. Um, the online EU tournament happening here in August is going is going to be a pretty big deal for them, I think, because if you win that, you get 125 points, and then someone like Mantis could go from 100 to 225, at which point that's a really, really strong position to be in, or Happy Pal could go from 95 points to 220 points. Um, so yeah, like they could definitely uh, make it if they do well in the online uh, tournament. Uh, we also have someone like Silvereye here who did well in the in the first uh, major, who got fifth um, at Combo Breaker at CEO. I think he got 13th. So then he went from 70 to 80 points, and then he didn't go to Vianality. So he's like, this right here is the bubble, by the way. It's top 12. Uh, it might be 13 if, as I was talking about before with Northern Arena, if it kind of works out that way, um, where... If someone wins Northern Arena that's already qualified, next in line in IPS might get the spot. So someone down here might end up qualifying. Um, but yeah, this is definitely not a secure position. This is one of those positions where you're, like, you're doing all right, but you really need at least one more top eight, I would say. At least um, one more top eight in order to, to get your spot. Or you're going to need to win like that online uh, tournament. But like for someone like Silver Eye, he's competing um, with the rest of the people here in, in, in uh, North America East, and it's going to be very stacked. It's going to have Sonic Fox, uh, myself, Bio, Heyate, Samij, etc., etc., Gross. So yeah, it's going to be very tough to win that. So yeah, you definitely, um, definitely going to have to do well at Evo. I feel uh, to get those points, and like you have uh, people like Rewind, who I would think. I feel like he's going to make it because he's such a strong player, but points wise, he's like right there, but it, 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 it could just like slip out from under you. It's like very, very scary, I think, in terms of points, um, if you're going to be outside of the top 12 right now, because you know that you have to make top eight at like Evo or SCR in order to basically have a, have a chance, because um, they're like rewind. King, Scar, and Katana Prime are all tied for 70. Katana Prime getting 5th at Vianality, push, pushing him up quite a bit. I don't know why it says he's in 16 and these guys are tied for 13th when they all have the same amount of points. Um, but yeah, so the, these guys are all going to be tied there. Um, if we move down the list a little bit more, you have someone like Shark Teeth that's been going out to these events. He got a 7th at Vianality, so it gave him a decent amount of points. Like If he were to get a, a good uh, showing at a tournament getting like a top five or top four that would be really good for him um you have like gur who uh he's going to some of these events as well i think he's going to evo and scr he's also going to be in the uh na east so that's going to be like na east is going to be really really stacked and then i think you also have people like nix as well like that's really good who's here who got not ninth at um 
combo breaker didn't go to ser didn't go to Vianality. so you, like you go from being like ninth in points all the way down to being tied for 20 with five other guys because you miss a couple events it's pretty uh cutthroat i would say in terms of that dizzy is over here as well with 25 points to basic to mini Deoxys actually who missed combo breaker went to CEO got ninth and then didn't go to Vianality is in a pretty rough position I would say like people like Deoxys and uh, Rewinder guys that like I would think would qualify because I know they're such strong players but um, right now just haven't like Deoxys had, didn't have the best of luck by missing two events and then getting ninth at the one event he went to and like rewind getting ninth and seventh which is what I got I would be tied there with him if I missed out on um, Vianality which is I'm really happy that I went to Vianality I'll tell you that much um, and then you have some people down here like we see Buffalo, Ominous, Dab, Illusions these guys are all like down here in like 15, 11 to 10 point range where you need if you're going to be here you're going to need especially at this point you're going to need like basically a top four or a top three to have any chance because a top five or a top seven really isn't even going to do it for you you need like a top four or higher um at this point at a tournament to kind of have a chance of getting into those points we have slayer down here as well um Voorhees, coach steve yeah a lot of people are tied right now down here and then the crazy thing is you have someone like theo who I would say before IPS started for the second season, if you asked anyone who would make it, I'm sure Theo would be on their list. And right now he had a rough showing at um, he had a rough showing at Combo Breaker, where I think he got 17th place, getting only five points, missed a CEO because of flight issues, and then didn't go to Vianality. So he's in a really uh, rough position in terms of points. He, the, but this is going to be one of those guys where um, I would say the online uh, NA West tournament that's going to happen this weekend is going to be really big for him because if Theo were to win win it, which he's 100% capable of doing so, if he were to win it, he'd have 130 points and he'll go from tied for 39th place. To, to uh what is it to like eighth place in standings and then he'll be in it and have a chance to win uh or to qualify so that's going to be a really big deal for people like theo people like deoxys illusions uh rewinds scar that that are not quite in that top 12 yet but if you win it um you definitely have a chance I would say to be in it so winning that is going to be huge second place gets 80 points which is also going to be a pretty big deal even if Theo were to get second and get 80 points he'd be uh in the top 12 just over silver eyes so pretty big deal I would say um and then you see like people like my boy Magic Man got fifth uh I mean five points I think he got 17th as well at uh combo breaker like Theo and then uh at CEO didn't have a good run and then didn't go to Vianality so you see uh, uh, people, and then it's crazy to think that someone like White Boy is actually like at the bottom right now with one point. I think he had like a really hard path um, at, at some of these tournaments and just didn't work out. So like he's one of those players where like he could um, have like a great tournament at Evo and bring it back and all of a sudden be in the runnings. But yeah, it's crazy to think that um, right now this is the top 12 that we're looking at right now with bio leading the pack silver eye is right on the bubble here in 80 points but there's so many people that could shift the shift the points and uh change it in these next upcoming tournaments so my goal uh being tied for fifth with sonic is that i'm happy that i'm in a really good position uh the goal is to just try to continue to do well get like i would say minimum if i can get a minimum of like ninth at evo and scr that i would get an extra 50 points and at which point that's 250 points i don't think i don't think 12 people are going to pass 250 points so um ideally i want to continue getting top eights and do well ideally ideally i want to win a major um at which point that would be amazing and i get a shit ton of points shit ton of everything so it would be great but that's the plan that's how these uh how it's currently looking after vianality for the pro series thanks for taking a look at this video and i'll see you in the next one